Peace and mercy be above you. Hello, guys. In today's lesson, we will make with each other our game, this game by Python. And this is advanced game. This is not uh, something like beginner game. No, it's advanced or upper intermediate level. In this game, we will make multiplayer fighter game. This multiplayer fighter game will be by Python. And also, we will use mplock as IDE. IDE. IDE is the program that we program Python on it. Okay, this is the prog uh, the game as you see right now. It have two sprites or two players. Every player play with the same keyboard but different keys. And also every player have a health. This health begin the 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 beginning of the health is 100. And any player get or the health of him become zero he is the loser and the other player will become the winner okay let's begin this game with each other now we will go to implook and we will go to the file list and after that we will choose new new project and we will delete the devices and we will go to sprites and also delete the sprite and we will go to the background and choose the appropriate background like this background after that we will go to sprites again and we will upload sprite we will not choose uh, a normal sprite and these sprites i will i will provide you by this these sprites in the description of the video you can download it and use it as me right now this sprite have a lot of costumes every costume something like refer to a specific move or a specific position like idle, walk one, walk two, walk three or hit uh, and every player and also I will I will upload this other player to you you can download each one from the description of the video after that we will go to the game and we will click python not blocks python because we will make it by python after that we will begin our game. In the beginning, we want to import a specific library. This, this specific library called Implock. And from Implock, we will import a module or a module, this module called event or event. This event, we will use it a lot by uh, when green flag clicked. Like any event happen in this game, we will use the event module from Implock library. To import this event module from implock library, we have to say or we have to write from implock import event. And also we will import something else, but this, uh, this uh, thing uh, we will not import it from implock, but we will import it from Python library itself. So we will say here or we will write here import time from where not from anything just input time because time yeah time is just from the library of python okay but here implock import event because implock is another library we use it here in this game yeah import time from import time just like that just import time after that we will make variables why we will use these variables we will use these variables because we want to make this code reusable reusable so we want to use the reusability concept when we take this code again copy and paste it in another another sprite we can reuse it again without changing a lot of changes in the code but we will just change the values of the variables so we will make variables for every key that we will use in the game and when we copy and paste the code again in another sprite we will just change the value of the keys uh, just concentrate with me and you will understand what i am saying input r is the variable that we will use to make the sprite move to the right and also input left we will make it for the sprite to make the sprite move to left and input h to make the sprite hit like make a punch and also the other thing is the health and in the health we will 
right here P1 health because we are in the fighter one and enemy name enemy name is fighter two because we are in fighter one if we are in the fighter two we will make the enemy name fighter one okay so we will just uh, use also also the message the message hit one and hit two when we are in the um, fighter one we will make the message hit one and when we are in the fighter two we will make the message hit two and we will use this message to make it broadcast and when we receive it we will make the uh, health reduced and also the wait time the wait time we will use it when we want to make the sprite just wait for a little amount of time like this or a little yeah a little amount of time and also after that we will use event from the event module so we will use at event dot green flag and we will choose it from the auto complete code and it will write itself like what you see and when we see at event written two times we have to delete one of them because if we didn't delete it it will make an uh, error an error with us after that we will go to variables to blocks first and after that we will go to variables and make a variable called p1 health for all sprites okay and also we will go to the other sprite the fighter 2 and we will make uh, we will go to blocks we will go to variables and make p2 health for all sprites also and it will appear here in the design in the left of the screen and after that we will make the health equal 100 how can we make that the health equal 100 we will make that by set variable so we will say or we will write sprite dot set variable as you see right now Sprite the set variable p1 health 100. So we are now make the p1 health in the left of the screen in the upper left of the screen equal 100 when we begin the the the, the game like that like what you see right. Now. But we will we will exchange the p1 health text by the variable itself. Why? Because we want it to be, to be reusable. When we copy it and paste it in another sprite, we will just change the values of the variables. We will not go to the code itself and change from it. No, we will just change the variables or change the values of the variables. Okay, this is the reusability concept of programming. And after that, we will continue. We want to the sprite in the beginning of the game we want the sprites to be in a specific position every sprite like the the first player will be in the left side and the second player will be in the right side of the screen so how can we do something like that we can do something like that by sprite dot go to and we will write the x and y how can we see or, or know the x and y we will see it or know it from the sprite options we will see the x equal minus 195 and the y minus 91 okay okay after that we will make the custom idle because we have a lot of custom maybe in the end it will be die like that but we will want when we begin the game from the beginning we want it to be idle so we will make the custom in the beginning of the game idle everything will make it after or under the green flag or the event of green flag like when we click the green flag everything of these things will happen first sprite uh, the health will be 100 second the position of the sprites will be uh, defined third the sprite set costume will be idle not anything else as you see right now because in the end it may be a die so we want it to be idle again in the beginning of the game okay after that we want to move make the sprites move when the sprite will move every time in the game so we want the sprite 
any time in the game move to the right or to the left as we click in the key of the keyboard so we want it as long as the game playing we can change or move the sprites so as long as the game playing so we will make we will make something called forever loop forever loop here in programming by python we will make it by while loop so we will write while true and after that we will make our code our code is first we want to make something when this sprite when we click a specific key this sprite move to the right or move to the left or hit or something else so first we want this sprite to move so when this sprite can move we can move this sprite when we click something like d when we click d we want this sprite to move to the right how can we know uh, or how can we do something like that we can do something like that by if sprite dot is key pressed space or we will change space to the specific key that we want it to be done like we will we want the d key be be pressed when we want the sprite to go to the right so if if sprite dot is key pressed d we will make sprite dot change x by 10 so when we change x by positive number it will make it move to the right when we change x by negative number it will make it move to the left so we will make it change x by 10 positive number when we uh, we can try it right now by clicking running first and after that we will click the green flag and after that we will click the d yes the sprite is moving to the right it's okay but we don't want it to just move when it's in the idle costume we want it to move and make a realistic realistic move like changing the costumes of walking like what you see right now we have a lot of costumes so we can make something like that by make a specific function this function we call we will call it move and in this function we will make the sprite move and change the costumes of moves wait uh, between every change to make it to make the move more realistic to make the move yeah more realistic how can we know or do we do something like that first we will make diff move and we will receive value so we will diff diff here is the keyword that make us new that we are now making function and after that we will write move the name of the function and after that we will make any variable we want to receive it in this in this function if we don't want to receive any variable so we will not write any value inside the parentheses so we here want to receive a value what is this value the value of the distance like 10 20 30 the distance that we want uh, the player to move on it first when we receive this value we will portion it or partition it into four quarters every quarter after every quarter we will make another costume to make the move realistic and also after every uh, costume we will make it wait for a very very little amount of time like 0.03 of one second three parts of 100 part of the second so it's so little amount of time but it will make the move more realistic as you see right now we will make sprite to change x by value division by three or divided by three value yeah divided by three so we will here make part three partitions of the value of the distance and after every partition we will make sprite dot set costume another costume and also we will make time dot sleep wait time why to make the move more realistic and here we will and, and after that we will call this move function under the if condition if is keep rest d and we will uh, call this function move and we will give it 10 as a value after that we will get the right as you see here 
we uh, make three portions or three portions of the value after every portion we make another costume and after every costume we make a wait time And after that, it will become idle costume again, like that. You can see now, when we move, the moving is more realistic. It changed the costume while moving, not just moving without changing any costume. Okay, now we will make if is key pressed A, we want this sprite to move on left. So we will copy and paste this root and we will change D and make it A and also we will change 10 and make it minus 10 because we want it to go to the left. So the left will we will make change x by minus. So we will just send another value and this value is by minus by minus. So we will say or we will write minus. Okay? Yeah. Here if we can choose it or try it, yes. Now the sprite go to the right and go to the left by the same way and by the same realistic move. Yeah. Now we will go to the head. We will make another function. This function is specified in heading or punch. Okay. And after that, we will call this function when we click the V, the V key from the keyboard. So we will say, or we will write F sprite that is key pressed V. And we will call the head function and we will make the function or the head function under or above the move function. Yeah, like that. Let's go to make the head function first before calling, calling it. If head and we will make this head function in the next video and the next video is the last video wait us inshallah in the next video and we will complete the game in the next video assalamu alaikum